Hey guys, so I've, as some of you might have noticed, I have not uploaded on my ASMR channel in quite a while and I just wanted to do a quick update letting you guys know why that is and if you've been watching my um, vlog channel that I actually started with my roommates, I'll link it down below, I had like a new channel announcement, um, but that is a child screaming. But um, if you've seen that, then you would also know why I'm in a different kind of background, kind of. I don't know if I mention it. But basically, long story short, is uh, my roommates and I are, well, we have now found a place to live for the next year. We wanted to do off-campus housing um, because New York University housing is notorious for its cost. Um, so we decided to do off-campus. We have found a place. However, the move-in date is September 14th. and. As you know currently it is only September 6th and we've actually been here since August 15th so in that duration we've been hopping around from Airbnbs to subleasing rooms to friends couches aka me which is where I filmed my new channel um, kind of video and I kind of explain a little bit there but not really so I wanted to just do a little more of an in-depth um, kind of update for you guys and I know I only have uploaded one or two videos with the camera audio but I know some people really like it some people really don't care for it in that case then you can just switch out now and basically the gist is that I will still be uploading but it'll have to be after September 14th after I move into my new place so if you want to go ahead and stay tuned for the rest of the update that will be in kind of like my soft spoken um, then you can keep watching so basically, like I said, me and my friend Dali got here um, in New York around August 16th and we started looking for housing. I had gotten some advice from a lot of people who had done off-campus housing and said you should be prepared to basically move in that day um, or sign the lease that day because the market moves extremely, extremely fast. Now that is not the case for most other locations. I know friends who have signed leases six months in advance to moving in um, because it is very scheduled, it's very slow pace. I think that's the refrigerator sound. Hopefully that goes away soon. Anyways, um, so that is kind of like the deal with, um, with what we were doing. So we expected to find a place pretty soon and then move in so that's why we decided to come back the 15th we looked for a couple places on the first day and um, didn't see any that we all agreed on because we have four girls total living with us um, so four total plus me um, but on the second day we actually found a place and uh, for privacy I'm just not gonna say exactly where I think we do mention it in the vlog so if you want to see that go to go there but um, for this purpose I'm just gonna say we found a place and unfortunately the move-in date was September 14th so we did kind of a cost um, what is it called um, like a benefit like you know whatever like basically just like a pro and cons list of whether or not we wanted to rent the more expensive option where the move-in date was September 1st or the cheaper option where the September where the move-in was September 14th um, now we kind of did a calculation and it would have definitely been cheaper to just go with the 14th option and for us to stay at Airbnbs throughout the weeks um, before that um, that would have definitely been cheaper than versus paying that much more every single month so um, that's what we have decided to do um, our other roommate Elizabeth has relatives in New York so she was staying with them um, I fortunately had a friend who I could stay with for about a week before we all sorted out our Airbnb situation now that if you have followed my TC files channel you know you've gotten a little sneak peek of what that ordeal was so let me just tell you guys here um, so Dali, Eva, and I, three of us, the rest of us, were planning to stay in an Airbnb in Brooklyn. Airbnbs in Manhattan are extremely expensive and, you know, people think that Brooklyn is a lot further from Manhattan, but if you actually live in the area, Brooklyn is very close to Manhattan, it's very accessible, um, and especially NYU is kind of in the lower part of Manhattan, so it's very close, um, if we wanted to stay somewhere in Brooklyn and much cheaper. So, we decided to book an Airbnb and 
because this issue has already been resolved i am not going to link this person i'm not i don't even remember her name um i'm just gonna like give her a random name but um you will not be able to find her because i don't because this issue is resolved we got our full refund and i'm not trying to bash anyone that's not really the point of this update video so the gist of it is um, we decided to move in the middle of the night to the Airbnb because we, Delia and I, had a lot of stuff with us. We had all of our um, baggage, luggage that we brought from California, um, which for me is one big suitcase, one midi medium suitcase, and one small suitcase, plus a backpack. So quite a lot. And for Delia, she also had one big and one small, I believe. And we had also purchased two IKEA desks, fully assembled. Um, and then we also had a chair and multiple various other random small bags that we needed to move. Now, the reason why we had all of this stuff is because we assumed that our Airbnb situation was going to work out and from the listing, we would have the entire flat to ourselves, which is why we had a lot of room to store a lot of our stuff. So we were thinking of buying, you know, secondhand furniture, like the Ikea desks, and just moving them to the Brooklyn Airbnb and then eventually moving them to our Manhattan place. So that was why we had a lot of stuff with us. So in the middle of the night is when Zipcar is the cheapest and we needed a big van, like one of those Ford big vans. Um, imagine like straight up, like, you know, like where you have to open the trunk like this and it's just like, you know, empty space. So enough to fit like a couch in there. Imagine that. So imagine tiny little me driving that through Manhattan. But anyways, so we loaded up all of our stuff, which took almost 40 minutes with the both of us just loading the desk loading the chairs loading like like carpets we had we had rugs full rugs everything and then we hauled ass to brooklyn and when we got outside to our airbnb it looked abandoned the building looked ab looked abandoned there was graffiti covering the entire building um and not like not like colorful nice graffiti okay like tags and just it just looked abandoned and now look I'm gonna be the last person to judge a book by its cover or judge a building by its cover. I live in Manhattan and Brooklyn, the surrounding area. I have seen beautiful homes where the outside looks a little run down. So I was willing to give this place the benefit of the doubt. Again, it was in the middle of the night and it was in an area that we weren't too familiar with. Um, it was next to a park. We were just trying to be extra careful, you know? So we were trying not to be loud and obnoxious and we were just trying to get into the building as fast as possible. So. Um, first off, the lockbox was ex in an extremely hard to access area for, I mean, I'm five feet tall, Dali's probably like five one, and I swear, unless you were like six feet and above, you could not open this lockbox without, like, like, we were straining on our tippy toes trying to figure out the combination to open the lockbox for the keys. So, obviously, the owners were not living there, um, which I don't know if that's an Airbnb policy or not, I assume it's not because you're allowed to leave, like, a lockbox, like, that's pretty common, so... So either way, um, what happened was we um, finally get the keys out. Before we even open the building door, a rat runs past us. Dali freaks out and screams top of her lungs and I was like, okay, we need to not do that because we're in kind of a... I, it was not like a sketch area, like I don't know where it was because at night I guess a lot of areas look sketch. But I was just like, let's not draw unwanted attention to ourselves, we're kind of like small girls. Who could be easily overpowered so anyways um then we proceed to open the door and go in and apparently i didn't see because the rat ran behind me but apparently another rat ran behind me and Dolly just freaked out and she ran up the stairs so it was a third floor walk up and so we walk up to our place the third floor did not even have lights in the hallway so we were using our phones kind of to navigate and to try to open up this door to our apartment now, when we got in, Dali and I looked at each other and were just like, nope, we are not staying here. It was run down, the floors were wood, but it was like very old wood so that there was just grime and dirt stuck in between the wooden tiles, you know what I mean? Um, it you When you go in, it's basically a common area that's kind of like a kitchen, kind of like a common area. Um, it just, I don't personally believe and ghosts and spirits necessarily but this is the first time i've ever been in a place where i was like something has died here like that's my that was like my first immediate thought after like ew this place probably has cockroaches 
and yeah so it was kind of terrifying um we decided to go into the rooms to investigate we opened the first and it's a railroad apartment which what that means is um one of the rooms is connected through another room so in order to get to the inside room you'd have to go through a bedroom that's what a railroad means and it's pretty inconvenient but again like i said we're just doing that for like a week so it wasn't really a big deal for us now the rooms were big that was great um but uh yeah the bathroom was gross the tiles were some tiles were missing and you could just see the dirt underneath the tiles there was a spider in the bathtub apparently um the toilet just looked run down and not clean there i don't think i don't know if there were towels or not i can't remember i didn't really go into the bathroom um in the bedroom there was no bed frame um, like this you can see there are bed frames um, in that one it was literally just a mattress on the floor with another mattress on top of it and there were plastic sheets like sheets that had a pattern to them so they looked like they were cloth but they were plastic it was insane I had never seen sheets like that before it looked like I was at the doctor's office um, it was weird okay to say the least and then we noticed three dark spots near the top of the bed and I don't like bugs, okay? Like I will like freak out, but like Dali freaked out and she was like, are those cockroaches? And I was like, oh, please God, no. So like we were kind of like inching closer and closer because we we're afraid they were alive. They were dead, but there were three dead cockroaches. Um, honestly, probably about this big, okay? Now look, I've lived with cockroaches before. When I lived in Beijing, there were cockroaches in my um, old apartment, but those were like little, little ones, like these ones. Um, these ones were fat Manhattan cockroaches, all right? Like, whew, help me, so help me God. Um, and our other roommate, Eva, she was supposed to arrive the next morning from LA. So we didn't even tell her, like, I mean, we told her after, but like, she would have said no, like she hates bugs. And I mean, all of us do, we're not gonna live there. So we get into the second bedroom again one cockroach dead cockroach in the corner same situation with the bed all the windows had duct tape over them like x's i don't know what that was about that was not in the pictures in the airbnb so anyways we're pretty freaked out at this point and um dali decides to call her boyfriend and i call one of my friends in brooklyn it was very late it was like 1 30 a.m at this point and we're just in hysterics because this place is disgusting we had never ever had an experience like this with airbnb um and the owner wasn't there so you know it was just very bizarre it was in a weird area it was late at night we had a truck full of stuff that was running on time because you know we had to we had to like give the zip car up in a, in a certain amount of hours because we're paying by the hour so um both her boyfriend and my friend were like take pictures and take video so we did all of that and that will be in a tc files vlog because i'm not gonna because it's not asmr at all so i'm not gonna put it here but if you want to see that um hop just subscribe to my other channel and it will be up because i'm surely going to do a full video on that this is just kind of the soft-spoken asmr version of it but yeah so she took an entire video of the whole thing pointing out the cockroaches pointing out all the details um we messaged the airbnb host very sternly saying what the f um this place is completely different from the pictures even the doors were different so either she put up different pictures of a different apartment or they had since renovated and did not update the pictures i mean this is why airbnb is safe and has pictures is so that you don't run it, the risk of, of scamming like this right so that's why airbnb has pretty strict policies um my family um likes to rent out our bottom room when i'm not there for an airbnb so you know they're very clear with like you know what you're supposed to do to qualify and all this stuff so i was just in awe and shock at how this had gone through anyways so um we messaged her and she essentially called us liars um i don't think she was american because the way she was typing in english was it seemed like she was european or english was not her first language um she basically said well i don't think you guys are telling the truth because i've never gotten a complaint about cockroaches and whatever 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 now like i said before we've all stayed in airbnbs multiple times we know to look at the profile we know to look at the reviews the pictures yada yada all that good stuff but um all the pictures seem nice all the reviews seem nice so we were very confused as to what was going on um and i think you know she was also rightfully confused but she it's probably because she wasn't in the apartment for a year or something like that you know like i don't know so 
I mean, I gave her the benefit of the doubt and I was like, look, we, got, we took pictures, we took videos, I can send it to you and you can take a look at them and tell me if you think that that's livable because I don't want to report you and have you lose all of your other listings because of this one kind of mishap. I'd rather you just give us the full refund and just, you know, leave it at that. And she essentially just kind of called us liars, I guess. So we reported it to Airbnb and they were very kind in mediating. They were like, we read your conversation. We saw that you guys had a conversation about this. So send us the videos and the pictures and we will negotiate with her. So we did that. We uploaded all the videos to them and a day later we got the full refund. Um, they did not say whether or not they forced her to give the refund back or if she willingly gave it back. I don't know about that, but we did get the full refund back, which I'm very, very happy about. So thank you, Airbnb customer service was on point um, and it was rightly ours because um, we were willing to fight for it we took a lot of pictures and videos it was horrible and the main thing for me is that it was completely different from the pictures in the pictures in the description is one thing and what we got was the complete opposite look if I wanted to save money and get you know a kind of dingier place then that's kind of my decision but you shouldn't market it as like a very nice clean place when it's not you know so that was really just like the thing that irked me the most um but we got our refund back so i'm very happy and yeah basically i had to couch surf for about a week thankfully i was in pittsburgh for the long weekend um, visiting my boyfriend josh and so i didn't have to bother too many people for those three days but now that i'm back here Sorry, that's like rain outside. I have since found another Airbnb, which is much nicer and exactly how it was advertised. So I'm very pleased this time. And I think, you know, that was just a fluke, a one-off fluke with Airbnb. And I really hope that they investigate into whatever other listings she had because that was just a nightmare. So um, that is kind of where I'm at. And because uh, we had to move all of our stuff actually out to Princeton, which is where a lot of our stuff is originally at, like a lot of our boxes from last semester, because I have a family friend who has a big house in Princeton, so she let us move all of our stuff out there, which is very sweet of her. And um, we did vlog that, I'm pretty sure, so that should also be in a vlog. All these vlogs are a little backed up because I've just been busy with all this stuff, you know? Um, but those should be up pretty fast one after the other, so you'll be caught up if you watch that those videos but yes so um i basically had to only carry one suitcase and one backpack and maybe a bag with me you know because like obviously i'm gonna be spending one more one and a half more weeks um you know away from all of my stuff and i didn't want to have too much stuff to move like that's just impossible so um i basically only had one suitcase one medium suitcase right there packed full of stuff and i just my uh, filming equipment is a little heavy um, the microphone and all the boxes and all the cables with it I just I just didn't have room so I thought you know for the sake of my sanity and my skinny little arms um, I was not going to try to pack all of that in my suitcase so that is why I don't have my mic um, which is why I didn't film any ASMR videos because I want them to be on the mic and I want these, you know, raw audios to be just kind of like a, a guest appearance on my channel, I guess, because I personally do enjoy them, but I know the majority of people do not. Um, so that's why I will still continue to do these because I like to cater to all of you guys, you know, all of your triggers um, when I can. Um, but like I said, like I also, you know, do know that you guys prefer the clean, kind of crisp, soft sound of a mic. Um, so yeah, anyways, that is pretty much all the update I have for you guys. Uh, classes have started today, so that was that was rough. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, my classes are all pretty easy this semester, so knock on wood, I hope I do well. And um, yeah, with my class schedule and with my, um, I'm actually on my, my major, like the major that I'm in, I'm on the committee, like the student committee council thing, which is really fun and new for me. So with all that, I should still have time to upload regularly. So I, uh, this is not, this is definitely like a once in a while occurrence where I won't upload for more than like a week or two. But I really hope you guys understand. A lot of you have already subscribed to that channel since my update. So thank you so much. Um, 
like I said in my channel update, that really is just like a channel for all of, like for me and my friends to just dump all of our videos and our lives on there. So we're not looking for like a lot of subscribers. It's just like, I just thought since some of you guys um, did mention you like my vlogs and missing them, that I would just let you guys know. But um, no pressure. I know a lot of you guys are just here for the ASMR. That is totally fine. Um, my life is not that interesting anyways. But yeah. Um, if you want to see more of kind of my personal stuff, um, that'll be on that channel. And um, videos, again, like I said, should be uploaded after, realistically, I'd say like September 18th. Because we have to move in the 14th, have time to kind of settle and film and then edit and upload. So I would say give me until the 18th. I will do another short update if it's going to be way longer than that. Um, but I don't see it being much longer than that. So, I hope you guys still found this video relaxing. Um, if not, then I'm sorry. You can watch some of my other ones. Um, but yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.